Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back today for another spa day video. It is currently 4.45, so 5 p.m. here on the East Coast. And you're probably wondering why I'm not in my beauty room. If you don't have me on Snapchat, then you have no idea what's been going on over the past few weeks because I really have not been active on my YouTube channel just because I've been so incredibly busy. So right now what's going on is I'm currently staying at a hotel because I have training for a new job I just got. I actually mentioned the new job in my last video, like a week ago now and I'm very excited about it I am very very excited for this new opportunity it is honestly coming out and turning out to be such an amazing opportunity that I snagged at the right time so I'm very excited to be here and doing what I'm doing but it is kind of sad because I miss my husband but anyways, like I said, today's video is going to be a spa night video just because I figure I, I definitely need to do a mask. My skin's looking pretty rough. But anyways, let's get into the mask because that's why we're here, obviously. So since I've been off YouTube, so much has happened. Actually, the last thing that happened that was a big deal here on YouTube was the Laura Lee and Manny Amiway going to the Morphe store situation. We all know what happened there. So I guess we can start with that first because quite frankly, that's going to be the, like the shortest topic of today's video. I'll test out some um, new Morphe makeup too too soon <laughs> me and manny went to the morphe store with the intent to buy all the fucking makeup ourselves okay linda morphe the owner of morphe was there and comped all the makeup for us as like a sweet gift to us we didn't know that she was going to do that shit when you find the video footage where i verbally said i paid for this makeup with my money i bought this myself let me know give me a phone call post or you continue to watch drama channels who take a grain of salt and explode it to get their AdSense money up so you're paying them. Congrats. I personally haven't watched any of the drama channels. I see me in the thumbnails. Thanks for the PR. I appreciate when drama channels talk about me and at least put me in the thumbnail. That way I get like good PR on it and like they can make sure and recognize Laura Lee with a face that people can well know me because I was having fun and being goofy with my friend saying, oh, we went in, cause we did go in. We got the whole damn store in our freaking bags, giving half of them back and half the shit back to you guys who are, oh, the Morphe scandal. This is a joke. This is literally a comical joke. I'm literally dying. It's like, I'm literally, <laughs> I can't believe it. Anyways, if you talk shit about me, if you watch the drama channels, if you're into that shit, don't enter my giveaway. If you're part of the thousands of you guys who don't give a shit about none of that stuff and are here for the makeup, not for the tea, girl, enter my giveaway because it will be one of you that win. I, I love you guys. The stuff we got at Morphe was free. Free. Got it now. When the whole receipt thing came to the light and everyone started going nuts about it because of all the zeros next to all the products on the receipt, that was kind of sketchy, especially since Manny had been so vocal about how he was going to buy everything or all of it in his Snapchat, but then again, I didn't give a fuck because it's not my money, so why the fuck do I care, you know what I mean? I'm one of those people who is so against people telling you how to spend your money or your time because it's your money, it's your time, you earned it, you can do what you want with that shit, you know what I mean? I mean. So I didn't really understand why everyone had a conniption about it and I quite frankly still don't understand it to this day. But at the same time, I can understand why people were kind of like sketched out about it because throughout the entire Snapchat on Manny's Snapchat, he was like, I'm gonna buy all of it, like da -da -da. And then of course we all know that the bigger drama channels got wind of what was going on and they got their screenshots. And they were showing off in their videos talking about how there were no prices next to all the items on that receipt, that it was just straight zeros. And that is exactly the moment when everything just went right to shit for both of them, so yeah. Now the one thing that I thought was kind of weird was that when Manny got home after the shopping trip they did, he did a Snapchat video showing off one bag of products and he was like, Morphe gifted us these palettes. So I assumed they gifted him only that bag of palettes and things like that. Like that's how I took it. But apparently people are saying that the entire purchase, like the entire shopping trip was paid for by Morphe themselves. And maybe that's true, but again, like why does it matter? All those products are going back to you guys and people are complaining about it. And what makes it even more funny to me is the fact that it doesn't matter if they're complaining about it or not. I can almost guarantee you that at least a good percentage of the people who are bitching and complaining and whistleblowing Manny and Laura for doing what they were doing and doing this whole shopping trip thing, they're still going to enter that giveaway and try to get those products. So like, why does it matter if they pay for it or not? You know what I mean? To me, it is one thing when you genuinely just don't like the content 
content of the creators and you are fully entitled to have that opinion that's not a big deal like i said i personally myself i don't enjoy laura's content i just don't like her personality i think she's just very she's very hard to like in my opinion but that's just it doesn't matter what i think you know what i mean homegirl is bringing in millions of dollars each year doing what she's doing and she's obviously doing a much better job at what she does in her channel better than i do but homegirl is successful you know what i mean like i can't sit here and talk shit about the girl when she's clearly successful but at the end of the day it's not about her being successful in my eyes it's about the content she puts out and i just don't find any of it to be interesting and that's okay there are some people who may hate my channel and don't find me interesting and that's again okay it's not a big deal but what confuses me the most is when these people who hate manny or hate laura or hate jeffree star when they see a giveaway being put onto these channels they go from hating these people into their biggest fans to get themselves entered into these giveaways because quite frankly these giveaways are outrageously expensive and you can tell by the products that are in the giveaways i myself you will never see me enter into one of those giveaways especially when it comes to the bigger influencers because i'm a stickler for using products well within their use by date i don't like to use products that are even like a day after they're supposed to be used up by obviously it's not safe and otino shade but i've seen quite a few giveaways from these bigger influencers that contain products that i've seen in their backup drawers that i know have to be like a few months old maybe even more because you have to think about this these are influencers with like millions and millions of subscribers in some cases and we all know that if you have anything over like 300,000 subscribers here in the beauty community you get put on the pr list that's not always the case i'm on a few pr lists myself for a couple different brands but their main priority as far as the brands and who they want to send their pr products to are to those influencers so they will always get the brand new products first obviously because they're the ones who can get them more advertising for free you guys know this but these influencers get all these products sent to them every single day i see on manny's channel at least like one or two different unboxing hauls for pr on his snapchat daily now if you're getting all this makeup in all the time what are you going to do with it especially if you already have a regimen you're sticking to for the time being what do you do with products that you don't want to use at that moment in time or you can't use at that moment in time at least here in the beauty community you put it into your backup makeup drawer or what they call a pr drawer which every beauty influencer has one you can see them in their collection videos they always have at least one or two I've seen some influencers with an entire Alex nine drawer set that is full of just PR products they have not used yet no tea no shade but I've seen quite a few giveaways in the past at least they had to have been sitting in those backup makeup drawers for a few months and by the time you even get the products themselves they're that much older I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys that these people purposefully maybe put these products into the giveaways knowing they were old maybe they just didn't realize it I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt but more than half the time when people give things away it's because they've been sitting in their closet for a long time and they haven't used it or just haven't gotten around to using it in a long time and that's the reason why they give them away so for me watching these influencers put these products into their giveaways and give them to you guys who are the subscribers that just turned me off from the entire giveaway thing as a whole the number one thing i think a lot of people should look out for is the fact that these are products that have been sitting in their drawers for a long time and they may be a few months old you know what i mean like there is a chance especially when it comes to like skincare depending on what it is skincare has a very short shelf life so yeah, I mean, I personally will not be entering either of their giveaways because I'm just, I'm so sketched out about that kind of thing. But like I said, all these people who are talking shit about the giveaway, talking shit about the fact that they didn't pay for it themselves or whatever, that doesn't affect any of you anyways because I guarantee you a good portion of all of you are still going to be entering into that giveaway regardless of who paid for it. And that's the case with a lot of these fucking people and that's the reason why Laura brought it up. If you don't like me or my channel, don't you think about entering my giveaway? she knows people do this and she called it out in the snapchat you know what i mean like she knows it happens and she's right like that's the only thing that i can honestly say that i agree with her with is the fact that she's right about that if you don't like her content if you don't support her on a daily basis if you don't enjoy what she puts up why would you then try to enter into a giveaway that she's putting on so i don't know guys
I mean, what do you guys think about it? I mean, obviously it's very old news. It's been talked about over and over and over again. And you guys are probably like, why the fuck are you talking about it? But like I said, I don't think that they really deserve all the hate they've been getting because of this whole thing, because this is not a new thing that has happened out of nowhere. This is a very normal thing. As a matter of fact, I would bet money that more than half the giveaways they've already had on their channel have all been dealt with the same way. All products that have been paid for by the brand to be given away to you guys as their subscribers. The only difference between this giveaway and those giveaways is the fact that they weren't dumb enough to put their receipt on their fucking Snapchat and show it to the fucking world. But you wouldn't have known if they were paid for by the influencers or by the brands. You just knew you were gonna get the products if you won the giveaway. So uh, yeah, that's it about that. But I guess the last topic I want to touch on very, very briefly is uh, this. I don't want to say too much about what you just saw because I want to know what you guys think first before I delve into that. You can definitely tell that is an outline of Ariel from Little Mermaid. In my opinion, uh, to me, I think it's a little sketchy that she's using almost an identical outline of Ariel, if not the exact outline of Ariel, on all of her merchandise. I think it's fucked up. And I will question whether or not she actually has the right to do so, especially when you can find the exact same merchandise with the exact same fucking logo in the Disney stores, Hot Topic, anywhere that sells Disney clothing, you're gonna find that exact same outline. So it's kind of like sketchy to me that she has that on her merchandise now. And it's not just like one item, she has an entire fucking line of merchandise, which you guys know, I am someone who has been very vocal about that. I honestly believe she used that Patreon money that was supposed to be for bills I am fairly certain she used that for that merchandise especially from the fact that she is currently just getting back from a trip from Australia here so the girl could not have been that financially strapped if she's taking trips to fucking Australia opening an entire fucking merchandise line and now this comes up and I'm kind of just like girl what is you doing I still maintain my opinion still about this whole thing is that it's a scam she has been scamming people she did scam people she continues to scam people I think it's a fucking rip off to donate 50 bucks in order to get a fucking Twitter follow back, but that's just mean girl. But at the end of the day, guys, I mean, nothing's gonna change, nothing's gonna stop because people keep donating to her. And it, to me, it blows my mind. And obviously, like I've said before in many other videos, just because I have a problem with it doesn't mean it's gonna stop. I'm not stupid enough and self absorbed enough to think that way. I just wish people would be like more open minded and actually look at what's going on and put two and two together and realize this girl is obviously lying. So, uh, anyway. Anyways, let's go take this mask off because it's been on for a little while and now it's all dried up and I'm ready to see how my face looks now. Alright guys, so this is my skin after the mask and I have to say my skin feels so much better. It looked a little irritated before the mask, but honestly it looks so good right now. I'm happy with the way it looks. And it doesn't feel dirty. My face felt really, really dirty and normally that happens to me because especially when it comes to traveling days, I feel like your face and your skin goes through so much shit. So to take some time to yourself and to do a mask and make sure your skin looks the best that it can, I think is a very, very good thing to do it every once in a while, which is why I have these videos with you guys. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up as always with all these videos. If you guys have an opinion about anything discussed in this video, leave them all down below as well as any requests or any ideas for future videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so, so much. Bye.